Hello, my sewing friends. I am back with one of those quick little tips that I thought I'd share with you. Someone asked me about this uh, with uh, the quick tip I did about bobbins. And uh, she asked, how is it that your machine is threaded? Well, this is a tip that I saw on Wendy's channel from, uh, or her channel is called With Wendy. And she is amazing. She's in Canada, and if you are uh, a person that cares about style and trends and sewing, she's a person to keep an eye on. Her channel is wildly popular, and I've followed it since the very beginning. So anyway, I saw this on her channel, and I thought, that is so smart. So I ran out of white thread one day, and all I had was this. And these are okay, but I like Guterman thread because um, there's a little notch on the ends of like Coates and Clark's thread. And sometimes when you put it on your machine, the thread can catch, you know, it stops everything. <laughs> everything comes to a screeching halt on your machine. And with Guterman thread, you don't have that. It's, there's, uh, it's made so that you can uh, slide the thread into like a groove right in here. Anyway, okay, so I didn't have any of this. I did have some serger thread that came with my serger when I bought it, and it looks like this. It's a much smaller cone than a regular uh, spool of serger thread, you can tell. But it was white, and I thought, I'm gonna use that, I think. Well, the trouble with serger thread is that it won't really fit on the spindle on your machine. There's not really a good way for that to work because it's got this hole at the top and but you know you don't want it kind of rattling around in there so what i saw wendy do was take a little glass or a cup and drop her thread down into it, it doesn't have to be serger thread it can be any kind of thread this is a jelly jar that i happen to have and it fits this little spool of um, serger thread really nicely so what i do is I take my uh, serger thread and I run it up through this little gadget thing, which I've had for so many years and did not use for many, many years. It used to have a spool on it in the center right here. And you could just put any kind of a spool of thread down over it. Well, I didn't have one. I mean, I don't know where this spindle went to. I mean, who knows? I probably could have used something else, but I just thought, you know, Wendy had the right idea with this little cup. So I just set that little cup right there and I thread my thread up through this hook right here. And then I just bring it around kind of from the back. You could probably find a place to hook it over here, but I just thread my machine down through and it works great. So I don't have to use a spool of thread. Um, you know, there are very many times that I don't want to use a spool of thread, but when you run out and you have serger thread, then all you really have to do is thread your machine when you have your serger thread in some kind of a little container. This is just a little coffee cup, and this regular spool of serger thread fits right in there. You don't have to have this hook. You can just thread your machine from the back and you really don't even need to have the hook. You can just come in from the back like that. And once um, this pulls taut, it would, it would be fine. That's a quick way of using serger thread to be able to use in your regular machine. There are lots of ways to do it, but this is a quick and easy one and it's using stuff you already have. So that's my quick tip for today. If you tried this or if you do this all the time, let me know in the comments below or if you have another way that you use thread in an unconventional way on your machine, then uh, please share that as well. Everybody would love to hear that. And so that's my quick tip for today and that's it for now for me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.